Hey guys, a uh, real quick tutorial here. We actually um, um, have this issue uh, we're helping some people out with. So we're going to do it pretty much on the fly so I don't have my good mic and everything. So please forgive me for that. But uh, in this case, uh, we've received... I have somebody sending uh, .wmas, and you've probably seen this if you're a Mac user, Macintosh, Apple Mac user. Uh, if you get something that's a .wma or a .wmv, in this case, an audio file says so a .wma, and you can see over here if you pull it up uh, in this fashion in the Finder, uh, it actually says Windows Media Audio. Now, of course, what this means is it's for Microsoft Windows. Uh, Windows is going to play it fine, but right out of the box, your Mac is not going to play it. So what do we want to do with this? Uh, first thing you want to do is uh, uh, go, well, after you've downloaded it, you have it on your computer, and of course, it's not doing anything. It's just sitting there. I'm going to go to Google here, and I'm going to type uh, flip, F-L-I-P, to number four, Mac, M-A-C, and go ahead and search for that. And of course, you know, I'm in Chrome, of course. Uh, if you're in something else, you can probably go to google.com, bing.com, it should mostly get you there. Now you see the first entry here, and see I've already clicked on it before, uh, flip4mac-telestream, telestream's the company, and if you need that address, it's telestream.net slash flip4mac, and that'll be the page where this lives, so we'll go there right off the bat and again depending on when you're seeing this video if you see this a few months down the line this will most most likely have changed but I'll tell you what you need to look for here for the version that you need now uh, so we have this a little bit about it we got a cute little puppy there and all kinds of stuff but now you see this little chart here we'll get rid of your little extra information uh, don't don't freak out yet I know there's a lot of different versions here uh, a very expensive versions of here uh, and and they're talking about stuff that if you're not in video you probably don't know what it is anyways that's okay that's for the professionals we just want you to play your file and we see right here features play windows media using quicktime that's exactly what we want to do because quicktime of course is the built-in player for the macintosh operating system and you also see there's a player free and download now so we're going to head go ahead and click on that And we got our screen here, official Windows player on the Mac, flip for Mac. In this case, 3.2, that version may change again, depending on how far along the line uh, you see this video. So we'll go ahead and download uh, 3.2, this green button right here in the center. So go and click that, and that'll download however you do it. Uh, it's not very big, only about 80 megabytes. If you got a, a okay uh, broadband connection, that'll be downloaded in no time. So I actually have a couple versions here. We'll get rid of that and clean that up real quick. But what you should see in your download folder, if that's your default, or wherever you put your downloads when you get stuff off of the internet, I have Flip4 Mac, the bunch of numbers, and .dmg. Now, if you haven't dealt with these files before, this is kind of a container file uh, for uh, when you have programs to install uh, on the Macintosh platform. Now, we'll just double click on that. And this is different depending on what you get, but in this case, we get a nice little page that gives us a couple options. Now, you do have a Microsoft Silverlight. Uh, it's kind of nice they give that to you. Don't worry about that. Not a lot is using that. Uh, the biggest thing I can think of is Netflix. You don't have to install this for our purposes today, but if you run into a website that says, hey, you need Silverlight, you know where to get it now. Um, but on the left here, we see Flip4 Mac, which is exactly what we're looking for, Windows Media Installer, and then you have a little kind of package installer here, .pkg, of course, for package. It's packaged up all those files nice for you, so, uh, and so it'll, it'll, it'll set you up uh, uh, with this program. So we'll go and double-click on that. So double-click. And this will bring up an installer. Now, the usual stuff, uh, in this case, we, we trust this. They don't install a lot of weird stuff on here. Usually you don't want to go through without reading, but you don't have to read every word. We see the package will run a program to determine if the software can be installed. Pretty typical. That's what we expected out of this thing. Um, and of course, you got this from a site that you trust it. Hopefully you trust me. Uh, you know you know the purposes of this software. So go ahead and click continue. And a lot of other stuff about the installer. Uh, if you want to read through and get, know exactly what you're getting into, you can go ahead and do that. Feel free to pause this and read through this if you want to. Hit continue. 
Again, more important information about exactly what you are installing, what kind of files it's going to handle, what's going on with it, if you want to go through it, but it's pretty standard stuff. Hit continue again. And again, the software license agreement, the usual legal mumble jumbo that we get uh, when we install stuff. I'm sure you saw it when you first uh, uh, turned on your Mac when you first got it as well. Hit continue again. Uh, again, and I kind of remind you that you are agreeing to legal terms, pretty, pretty typical, so we'll go ahead and agree to it. And just a reminder, it's going to take up a little bit of space on your computer and it's going to uh, do a standard installation. So down here on the uh, right, we're just going to click install. And of course, with all programs, it's doing something with your system and it's really nice that the Mac says, hey, this is important, we need your password. So I'm going to put in my, my uh, administration password and of course everything is going to install. Again, it's taking that package and putting everything on the right shelf in your computer in the right place in your computer so everything is going to work out. You know, It's optimizing your system, it's telling your system, hey, to uh, point our files over here to handle, you know, in this case, the .wma files. And of course this is just another reminder because you did download the free version, they're trying, going to try to upgrade you uh, and get money from you, honestly, at any uh, uh, chance they can get. Uh, so don't worry about that. You have everything you need for what, you, what we're talking about here. So hit continue. And again, do you want to learn more about Flip for Mac? I'm pretty sure if you hit OK, it's going to go to the website uh, to tell you more about the products and everything that we are pretty much already at. So don't worry about this right now. We don't want to get to our task at hand. So hit no thanks. And there you go. Installation was successful. We'll hit close on that. And we'll go back to downloads where we have our .wma that we were dealing with before. And so we're going to go ahead and double click on that. And it's going to load up this player here real quick because I had it open before. Now we'll go back and hit play. There you go, our choir performance that we're trying to send out to somebody with a Mac plays just fine. Um, now, I, when you first open this, it didn't do it for us this time, but uh, you may get a voice that says you're using a preview, an evaluation copy of Flip for Mac. Um, so that may overlay your audio. If you just legitimately want to say, hey, I want to listen to this audio, not a problem. If it does, if you want to use something a more high end where you don't want that reminder when you open this program, you might want to go pay the 30 bucks. Trust me, it's worth it if you do a lot of work with this stuff. Uh, but if you don't, just want to get that file to listen to, watch, whatever, with the WMV files, this should be fine. Uh, again, if it was too quick for you, please go back through, watch through a couple times if you need to. Feel free to pause as we go step to step because depending on your computer, it may be a different uh, length of time for that installation process, downloads, stuff like that. If you have any questions, uh, this video of course is here on YouTube. I hope that's where you found it. And there should be a comment section if you go to the page, even if you click that little title at the top if I'm embedded somewhere. Uh, and, and go ahead and drop a comment on there. It's on my page. I will respond to any of those if you have any questions, any technical problems with this process. Again, I'm Mike Sorg uh, with Sorgatron Media, at Sorgatron on Twitter. I hope you enjoyed this. Pretty simple way to get your uh, Windows files that people just keep sending you work on that Macintosh computer. We'll see you next time.